Yeah, the company was founded by, through a collaboration with Monon BioVentures and Nationwide Children's Hospital in Columbus, Ohio. Um, our scientific founders uh, at the Research Institute uh, came up with a discovery, a way to, uh, a novel way to formulate probiotics into uh, pharmaceutical grade drugs and um, in the microbiome space and this and this these allow us to use the contents of a healthy microbiome as pharmaceuticals to tackle disease. Great. Uh, for years uh, researchers have looked at biofilms of pathogenic bacteria and when a pathogenic bacteria forms a biofilm it's very persistent and difficult to kill and difficult to treat and so for, for decades now um, researchers have studied biofilms in that context but there's a lot known about how they form and, and what is required to form a biofilm but the reality is, is that even our good bacteria also form these biofilms and so the discovery behind Sciota is that you can leverage this natural uh, natural phenomenon within the bacterial community and without genetically modifying it collecting in a collective for allowing them to form a collective in, in a formulation that allows them to be more persistent and to win out the fight in our in our bodies against the pathogenic bacteria you know one of the key uh, parts of a, uh, any any human's life uh, you know the, one, one of the vulnerable parts is, is when they're first born uh, and that's the microbiome and the development of a healthy microbiome is part of the developmental biology of an infant and one of the in the situation where the infant is born prematurely there's a lack of time for a healthy microbiome to develop and so these babies are often missing some of the key components uh, to the bacterial community that exists within their GI system. Our, uh, one of our founders, Dr. Gail Besner at uh, Nationwide Children's Hospital is one of the world thought leaders in um, a disorder called necrotizing enterocolitis. And this is a disorder that affects the GI system and a fair number of infants born at a low birth weight. And this can be fatal, and, but it is, it is fairly rare. Uh, but she's a, she's a surgeon, and she has to do these surgeons these surgeries, and and the reality is these surgeries have up to a 50% mortality rate. So at all costs, you would want to avoid this. And we think that our initial uh, indication, our initial application, our formulation will be able to prevent uh, necrotizing enterocolitis uh, in this very vulnerable patient population.